All right, tonight across Connecticut, uh, fairly quiet conditions, of course. Temperatures going from the 60s into the 50s right now, 59 in our capital city. Great visibility, although we could see some patchy fog develop as we head through the uh, overnight hours. Our view from New Haven, similar, overlooking the green at 65. So with the exception of New Haven, Bridgeport, and Windsor Locks, we've dropped into the uh, mid-50s elsewhere across Connecticut, but still up several degrees uh, for many communities compared to this time last night. Looking at the big picture, high pressure that's been in control is going to move offshore. That's going to allow the first of a couple of fronts to work in our direction. This one arrives tomorrow night, could generate a shower or two, some sunrise sprinkles come Saturday morning, but that is basically it for the upcoming weekend. In the realm of the tropics, National Hurricane Center still watching a disturbance across the Gulf of Mexico, but we have two named storms out in the open waters of the Atlantic. Uh, first and foremost, we've got Kirk, a uh, category four storm, a major hurricane, Powerful, and it is moving to the northwest, curving to the north, and then eventually over the uh, northern Atlantic and eventually weakening over some cooler water as we head into early next week. Meanwhile, uh, on the heels of that, we have Leslie, still a tropical storm, but forecast to not only become a hurricane, but a major hurricane reaching category three status by, say, Tuesday of next week. But neither, again, any threat to any landmass. So at least a, a little silver lining there with the activity that is currently ongoing. Uh, here in Connecticut tonight, temperatures bottom out in the low and mid 50s. The exception, northwest, northeast Connecticut, where we could see some ratings dip into the mid and upper 40s. High temperatures for our Friday across the hills of Litchfield County, 71, Goshen, as well as for Litchfield and Thomaston, and around the greater Hartford area, mid 70s, 75 for Windsor, 70 for Suffield as we take it town by town into the quiet corner. Pomfret 72, 72 as well for Danielson and into southern Connecticut right along the shoreline. Niantic near 70 as you head farther inland, a couple degrees milder. Durham 74 as you head farther west along the shoreline, also a bit milder. Brantford 74 and Sonia 73. Newtown uh, 73 are forecast high for tomorrow. So temperatures still running above average for this time of year. Uh, another uh, set of fairs kicks off this weekend. Tomorrow evening we've got Portland and Harwington temperatures initially prior to sunset in the low 70s, dropping slowly through the 60s as the evening progresses. Certainly looking dry, but as this front approaches tomorrow night, it is around this boundary that we can't rule out a couple showers. Fairly starved for moisture. Best chances for some more meaningful rain across northern New England. So outside of a sprinkle again very early Saturday morning, any lingering cloud cover gives way to increasing sunshine. So that certainly bodes well for the uh, home game at the rent as Temple takes on UConn. 3.30 is the kickoff, but if you do some tailgating, say late morning, early afternoon temperatures going from the upper 60s into the low 70s, and then as we head past sunset, dropping back uh, through the 60s. So uh, a very comfortable weekend for sure. The first weekend of October, Sunday, relatively cooler, but still above average for this time of year. We'll start out with upper 40s by the afternoon, low 70s. And as we head into early next week, we've got a cold front that's going to be moving through Monday morning. That will bring with it our next best chance for at least some scattered showers. Uh, and as we make our way past Monday, the uh, arrival of the coolest air of the season is going to be making headlines. High temperatures Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday getting progressively cooler in the lower 60s. Overnight lows going as well in the downward direction to the 40s. It's Wednesday night, early Thursday. We've got that first alert for especially uh, inland Connecticut as we could have some, uh, some frosty conditions that could perhaps uh, signal soon the end of the growing season.